Hi everyone, welcome back to MHub Inside. Today we're gonna to be talking to Tony Vitali, who's the co-founder of Vertical Grooves, and also Cat Seal, who you saw on this channel uh, a few videos back. Uh, but first, we're gonna hear from Tony about the rebirth of a couple of audio products. Um, so Tony, if you just wanna give us like the backstory of where Vertical Grooves came from. Sure, wow, backstory. Um, I myself, much like what's happening here, made a video for the original inventor, founder of a company called Grandma Box. Um, I was blown away with the product, thought it was the greatest thing. I'm a turntablist, so I have a great affinity for turntables. Um, enjoyed the, the gramophone as well. Um, and then I had a little problem with my turntable. And when I went to go try to find out how to get it fixed, I unfortunately found out that the company had went idle, was on hiatus. So that led me to uh, inquiring a little bit more. There was someone else who was inquiring about getting their turntable fixed. Um, we met and then we decided that this product is too good to just be sitting idle. And we said, all right, maybe we're going to take over this company and try to get these products back on market. Awesome. So we're going to talk about some of those maybe production challenges with CAT. Um, but I think it's interesting to note that when this first came on the market, it came out of one of the most successful Kickstarter campaigns yes. um, and scaled really fast. You know, they obviously the, the products are beautiful. Yeah. And so the vision that they had in creating a beautifully aesthetic product that also um, tremendous amount of foresight with the vinyl market and vinyl coming totally. back into play. Yeah. And then, um, both my partner and I, who were experiencing a very similar problem, um, before we could go to market again, we had to really reverse engineer a lot of the stuff. Well, not me, I'm not an engineer. Sure. You'll hear more about that. Um, but we had to figure out what was the culprit? What, you know, where was the source of the problem? And it kind of shocked us on how small the problem was. And it was that one little, literally, screw or cog in the wheel that um, that kind of put a halt to the whole production. Yeah, took a whole company offline, yeah. which is wild. So it, yeah. it reiterates the importance of thinking about the whole chain of the manufacturing product and the partners that you're bringing in too. And yeah. we're gonna talk to Kat about Great. that now. Yeah. Um, so thanks, Tony. Thank I'll you. Talk, bring Kat okay. over, thanks. Okay, so welcoming Kat to the table, who's the head of production at Vertical Grooves and has also made an appearance on this channel. Welcome back, Kat. Hi, Kim. Good to have you. Thank you. Um, so, okay, so Tony kind of foreshadowed there is a small problem that impacted the whole product. You wanna dive into that with us and tell us what you found when you reverse engineered? Yeah, no, the reverse engineering process of this product was so fascinating to me because I've had a really strong interest in consumer electronics and this really combined a lot of my interests from the reverse engineering aspect to the redesign of our PCB board, which I think we're going to get into that a little bit later on as well. But right now, we're going to be mainly talking about the tone arm. So all of our products are completely made in Chicago, meaning we do all of our injection molding, all of our sourcing, all of our fabrication here in the city, which is really rare for a product to have such a local uh, supply chain yes. yeah it's awesome so we're gonna go into that and share with you our cup this point set screw this was the main issue that was causing the tone arm to actually f unfortunately fall off the unit so it's just one of the important aspects of production that if you change one element it's going to affect the whole and if you don't have a full understanding of the parts, then you down the road are going to experience a problem. So I would the, call that a pretty significant problem for oh, the turntable. Absolutely. <laughs> and the importance of having the cup is actually that the cup has a very thin lip on at the point that digs into the material and creates a stronger hold surface. And it's different because you were explaining to me that What's a, like, what would you call a non-cup set screw? There's just straight... You would call that a, a point set screw. Okay. So there's many different types of set screws, which is an entire conversation in and of itself. Yeah. And for this particular piece, it was really important that it was the cup set screw. It is, because it provides that holding power. 
so not only that, but the entire construction of the piece, from finding a supplier that could give us the correct OD, the outer diameter of our carbon fiber tube, to coordinating with our injection mold company to provide the right threading, the right plastic. It's, it's something that I love reaching out to the manufacturers and that's what we did for this entire product. Going back, finding the original source of our manufacturing and bringing it back to life. Right, which I'm sure they were so pleased as well. Oh, right? no, we're to all see excited. To past client come, come back and with some problems solved that yes. makes the whole process more seamless. And what better place to do it than the home of house music? Good point. Yeah. Good point. And I think we'll listen to some music later. Let's talk about this product for first, the gramophone. And right. there was something that you solved for that as well. So I will switch with you. Yeah. So part of being here at Imhub is the support that it provides with the machinery. It really gives you a wide variety of tools and machines to work with when solving prototyping problems. One of them being that we went from an injection mold to a steel plate for the base of our Gramavox gramophone. We had one small issue. Our stock didn't have the correct radius. So we had to file down the radius of our stock, repowder coat them, tap for our screws, and fit them onto our box which is an entire process. You wouldn't think that one plate would have so many steps, but that is part of the iterative process of design and what Imhub is here to support the most. And all of that you could do using the equipment at Imhub. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We um, also did that for our tone arms too. All of our weights for our tone arm are used by the same equipment, powder coating each piece, Great. which is really unique for a product. Cool. Well, let's listen to a track. Yeah. And then I think um, we're going to test the floating record today so you can hear it. And then we're going to do another video with Will who worked on the, the board of the gramophone and did some more of the audio and electrical engineering. Um, so we'll show you that in another video. But Kat, go ahead. Yeah, let's check it out. So as you can see, we have a belt driving our motor. We'll turn that on. Release the tone arm from the dock. And it will not fall off. Can you hear the crackle? Yes. Very nice. Should we just keep this plane in the shop all day? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds lovely. Thank you. And what a good visual display too for an audio lover. This is calibrated to the gram, so very cool. Nice. I love it. Well, thanks Kat for joining us. Um, again, stay tuned and we'll play this for you. And thanks for joining. I'm up inside and we'll see you next time. Bye.